Once you have a 3D solid, there are many other ways the pool tool can be used to modify the model. Let's go through some of the most useful ones now. Using Control Select, you can select multiple features and pull them at the same time. When you click on a feature to pull, you will see the mini toolbar appear. Two especially useful options in this toolbar are Ruler and Up To. Selecting the Ruler option will allow you to set a dimension for the pull operation. Using the Up To option will mean you can pull up to an existing feature in the model. If you need to cancel pulling at any time during the operation, just press Escape. It's worth noting what happens if you pull opposing faces. See how they automatically move closer and further apart as you pull. If you select related faces, such as perpendicular ones, the geometric feature will grow and shrink as you pull. Keep an eye on the yellow arrows to see which way to drag your cursor. Angled faces can be pulled too. If just the face is selected, the extent of the face will change as the pull takes place. If you select the face and its boundary edges, this will constrain the size of the face during the pull. Holes can be pulled in a number of ways to modify them. Selecting the inner face or bore of the hole will adjust the diameter when pulling. Selecting on the axis, however, will allow you to change the hole into a slot. In each case, you can either drag to a new size or type in dimensions. Selecting the open edge of a hole will allow the edge to be modified into chamfers or rounds. The mini toolbar in this case will offer options relating to the type of modification. After pulling, the same options will still be offered in the mini toolbar and in the options panel to the left of the design screen, so you can change your selection retrospectively. If you need to equalize diameters between two holes, you can pull one to the same size as the other using the Up To option from the mini toolbar. 